Boys, I am Pixel Dan, and this is a review of the Masters of the Universe Classics, Karg. So Karg is one of those brand new characters that was created specifically for the 1987 Masters of the Universe motion picture. However, he's one of those characters that didn't get a toy in the original line. Blade and Sarad and Gwildor were the only three figures we got based on that original movie, and so far they were the only ones we saw in the Classics line as a result. We've always thought that there was licensing that has kind of kept them from being able to produce any other characters from the movie since they didn't have previous toys, but it looks like we've got a little bit of a workaround with Karg here, which is really exciting stuff. So Karg comes on that standard Masters of the Universe Classics blister card packaging, complete with the new 10-year anniversary logo down at the bottom. The back has some brand new artwork of Karg along the left-hand side, along with the cross-sell of the current eight figures from Super 7. And the bottom of the packaging has a brand new bio for the character. So let's go ahead and pull Karg outside of the packaging. And if you're wondering what's going on with the colors here, he definitely looks a little bit different than the way we saw him in the films. He was wearing much more of a darker black outfit. This right here is actually based on his appearance in the motion picture comic book. And that is how they were able to get around the movie rights to produce this figure as it seems. So his colors are a little bit different. But you know what? I'll take them. We finally have a Karg figure after all these years, and that's pretty exciting. And if you take a look at the sculpt, specifically in the head, even though he is based on his comic book appearance, that head sculpt is fantastic and does a really good job of capturing the look of the character from the film regardless. He's got much more of a green look to his face. He's got that big pompous hair, which is a little bit more yellow. I think it was much more white in the movie, but still... It's a very, very cool, highly detailed sculpt, which has got some really nice paint washes in the hair and the face itself, bringing out all of the sculpted details. I love the details of the outfit he's wearing as well. He's got this crazy frilly little thing around his neck, and then he's wearing this armor that's a mixture of dark blue and bright metallic blues, which really brings out all these great details. The same metallic blue can be seen on the arms, as well as the lower portion of the armor that he's wearing, and I love all these little trinkets that are hanging off his belt. I think there's some really fantastic sculpt work going on here. Now, one thing that I definitely want to point out is that unlike what we've seen with a few of the recent figures from Super 7, they opted to use the old method of making armor that fits over the basic buck. So his upper body does look a little big and bloated as a result, but it definitely fits in with the way a lot of the older figures looked, uh, like Blade from the movie, which we'll see him standing side by side. Um, but it's worth noting that this armor is not made to be removable like it used to be. It's definitely glued on and in place. Uh, also, the head does not seem to come off the ball joint, so that is not a removable piece. His left hand is unique because he's got the hook there, just like we've seen in the film and in the comic. And the rest of the figure looks pretty nice. He's even got these really cool, unique boots with the boots coming up a little bit further, coming up to cover his knees a little bit uh, and no pins showing. So it's the more modern ankle articulation. And then his cape here, you can see it's got the big furry part on the back. It's made of a softer pliable plastic, so it does flex around. I do have a bit of a paint mishap. You can see I got some splotches on there, but otherwise I think the figure is nicely painted. He's bright. I actually really like the metallics on there. I think he's gonna match up really nicely, especially with like Sarad, who also has a lot of metallics in his paint deco. So let's talk about the articulation. The head's ball jointed, it can move left and right and slightly up and down. The hair's gonna hinder that just a little bit, but it's not too bad. You can still pose it around pretty good. You can see that the shoulder pieces are flexible. They're actually very gummy and soft, but that way they're not gonna hinder the articulation of the shoulders. So the arms are gonna still go outwards, forwards and backwards. Swivels at the bicep, you got nice tight joints at the elbows that kind of ratchet a little bit. And we can swivel at the wrists, uh, including the hook here. The hook swivels left and right. And then we've got a hinge joint on the hand uh, over here on the right. He's got ab crunch, so his abs can move up and down uh, the middle of the torso there. You can swivel him at the waist. You can see the lower loincloth piece is a very soft, very gummy piece of plastic, but that way it doesn't hinder the articulation with the hinge joints. Legs can go outwards, forwards, backwards, swivel at the thigh, standard joint at the knee, uh, swivel at the boot cut underneath the folds of the boots there, and then the ankles can move up and down as well as rock side to side slightly. Uh, although, yep, they're a little tighter on this one. You can see, there you go. 
Got a nice rock there. Now, one of the things I definitely want to point out. Unfortunately, the knees on this guy and especially the ankles are really loose on my figure. And I don't know if it's going to be that way on all of them. But his upper body is very heavy. Like the head is really solid and it's very big because of the hair and everything. And with his heavy body and those weak ankles, I have a real hard time posing this one. Um, you really have to find the right balance on it. Otherwise, he just topples over regardless. So that's a bit of a bummer. I feel like we haven't had the weak ankles problem like that in a long time. There, see, if I kind of point the feet out words like that it definitely keeps them standing better but if they're straight on I definitely have that problem oh there we go I got a balance but he's kind of teeter oh there he goes yeah so I definitely have a bit of a balance issue because of the weak ankle so hopefully that is not a widespread issue with this guy he does come with two accessories, one in the form of this small little dagger, which is very brightly colored. It's got that very kind of comic booky look because it's got bright blue blades, but it's still very cool looking. And of course, uh, since he's got a hook, you're going to want to put that in his right hand. Or he's also got this much cooler movie inspired laser blaster, which I like quite a bit. And I definitely feel like works much better with the figure. So there you go, my friends. There is a look at the brand new Masters of the Universe Classics Karg action figure. So maybe he's not the Karg that we wanted. He's not directly from the movie. But I think using the comic book as a get around works pretty well. And you know what? Personally, I'm very happy to finally have an action figure of this character who was pretty prominent in the 87 movie. Now, I do have minor issues with mine with the articulation, specifically those weak knees and ankles. That kind of keeps him from standing. So I just hope, again, that that's not a widespread issue. Otherwise, I think the sculpt is great. I do like the paintwork, even though it's a little more bright and cartoony looking. And overall, I'm happy to have this guy standing alongside Sarad and Blade in my collection. So this latest batch of figures from Super 7 was available by pre-order only, so if you missed out on that at this point, you're likely going to have to find them on the secondary market. Be sure to stay tuned to Super7.com for any future releases and pre-orders. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button, leave me a comment to let me know what you think, and don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, my friends.